Hello YouTube community, this is Apurva Popat. I am one of the internal medicine resident here in the United States. And today I'm going to talk about how to master first aid, okay? I'm going to give you a five-step strategy to make sure that you ace your USMLE Step 1 exam and you pass it guaranteed. So, first of all, let's just start with step number one that use your first aid as a review resource. It's also important to understand that first aid is a review book. It's not a textbook. It's not a comprehensive resource. So the important art lies in decoding that first aid, okay? Things will be written very concisely. You have to understand and not memorize what's written in the first aid, okay? So it's a review book. It's not a textbook. So the key is to start early, okay? You have to understand and not memorize. So first step is to use the first aid as the review book. Let's go to the second one. Now, since that uh, that's a review book, you have to have a comprehensive resource along with the first aid, okay? Now, depending on what you are, whether an American graduate or an international graduate, so the resources might differ a little bit for you in your med school, but let's say for an American graduate or an American student, uh, just the medical school resource are, are usually enough for your step one prep and you can directly go on to UWorld or you know use your first aid as a, as a cornerstone resource but let's say you are an international graduate you'll have to have still a comprehensive resource to master and decode what's written in the first aid now you can have those comprehensive resource like kaplan you can have that usmre rx pathoma sketchy lecturio Dr. Najib, those are n number of comprehensive resources. I highly recommend USMLE strike videos that gives you a fine balance of understanding as well as high yield material, which is usually integrated between UWorld and First Aid. Okay, so that's your second step strategy. So getting a review resource, that's obviously First Aid, and getting a good comprehensive resource like USMLE strike. And then next one would be after learning and decoding, from comprehensive and the review resource is applying your knowledge okay now you can only apply by practicing questions you may make questions wrong and that's how you learn okay so the important question bank is of course gold standard is going to be u word you can use usmle rx you can use emboss and now each one has different strengths by far u word is the most concise as well as to the point q bank it's going to give you sure high yield material pay attention to the bold words written in the explanation and you have to make sure that you understand each options carefully okay now if you are the one who wants to follow the first aid pattern you can also choose usmle rx videos and q bank also have an option of choosing emboss q bank okay but anyways i would stick with you all so first aid let's say comprehensive resource like you assembly strike and then applying your knowledge to you world that's your three step strategy the thing is how we are going to retain everything so there comes the fourth step that's annotating your first aid okay you have to make sure that you you make a good use of digital version of first aid so i use good notes here that helps you to annotate high yield points into first aid also import images which is which is very high yield okay now you can add a pertinent concise information in your first aid and then when you review you can highlight more pertinent information to make it more concise okay so the fourth strategy is annotating your first aid and making it high yield okay now the final step would be reviewing of course you can review your own annotated first aid you can make your own flashcards in anki you can also make your flashcards in uworld so either way you can you know review the material you can also review your uworld incorrect that's your fifth strategy to review on mastering first aid okay that's the five steps in general how to make sure you master the first aid so you know it's pretty simple just keeping it straightforward using first aid a comprehensive resource apply your knowledge in uworld then the fourth step would be annotating the extra information in the in the first aid make sure it's a digital first aid and then finally would be reviewing again and finally after finishing five steps you have to take your assessment exam so those assessments could be you you world self assessment or nbme you can start with you know the older NBME is starting from NBME 20 through 25 and then you can start taking online NBME which would give you a probability of passing you know step one in next week so that's your ultimate you know strategy to ace your assembly step one exam thank you so much for watching if you have more questions you can reach out to me either in the comment section or you can also reach out to me on Instagram my Instagram handle is 
Dr. Apurva underscore Popat. So you can reach out to me there. I'll be happy to share my my experience, my knowledge, and I'll be happy to help you with your step one preparation. Thanks for watching.